same old jive that's been run down for the past 300 years. If y'all so wise and heavy, why didn't you join us back in the beginning? No, you just go back and tell them, sorry, this motherfucker is closed down on strike, Jack, and we're whistling yeah, this right. over. <laughs> How did you destroy committee at some of our demands, like ending ROTC? How? You want to off ROTC. All you have to do is go down to the ROTC building, take a bottle, fill it full of gasoline, plug it with a rag. Yeah, man, but what if you want to end sociology? Listen, man, a whole top cocktail is a mixture of gasoline and kerosene. White radical is a mixture of bullshit and jive. Right on. You know, I don't have to prove my revolutionary credentials to you. You know, there's a lot of white students who are already out on the streets fighting just, just like you guys do in the ghetto. And, you know, there's a lot of unhappy, dissatisfied white people who are potential revolutionaries. Yeah. Y'all dealing, dealing with things that are really irrelevant. Because you, you're going back to the same thing, of, you know, when you get busted for grass and that makes you a revolutionary. No, when them pigs get busting you on your head, so you're kicking down your door, stopping you from living, when you can't get a job, you can't go to school, you can't eat, that's what makes you a revolutionary. Wait, wait, that's wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Like you see in another bag. Yeah, you know, we're talking about, we're talking about talking to white students. That is, you know, I think we understand, a lot of us have understood what makes black people revolutionaries, but what's going to make white people yeah, that's revolutionaries? The question. I mean, you know, and that's what you discussed the same about. goddamn thing that make black people revolutionaries. But it's not happening happen on the same thing. You just wait, it will happen. Well, you don't have to do anything to instigate it. What you can do is prevent it. Or you, you can break it down and you can do something. But how's it going to happen? It's going Parallel into fascism. I mean, the pigs are on the campus now. Next to what do you want them? Sitting up in the in the classroom? You want them in your door? You want them uh, standing on the street every time you come out? No, but they're not here to get to that. Maybe to be revolutionary. Oh, now what we're saying is this school is going to close down. Period. There ain't nobody coming in this school unless they Why come at their own risk. And once they decide they want their school back open, they're going to open it on our terms. Period. Is Why so? Why stop the students that want to go? I mean, because they're in our way. Because they prevent us from getting what we deserve. We have tried all of the means. We've negotiated. We've pleaded. We've written programs. We've done this. We haven't got anything. Okay. Well, we can just have to the whole point, a uh, basic point of uh, any form of guerrilla confrontation is that the enemy is invisible. Things happen. They don't know where, they don't know how. People do things and the people who they have their attention focus on are being nothing but attracting attention. I don't think that's the stage we're at yet. I mean, we're just beginning to involve people. If you want to accept this school now, what do you plan to do? But we do not have white support on this campus yet, and until we do, we deal in mass taxes. The Western Union is not running no performance. It's going to depend on that to shut this school down. But not just this question about the enemy being invisible. Well, I think you're wrong, you know, in terms of white support. I don't think it really matters that much, because if we're successful tomorrow, what will happen is that the cops will consider every student, every single student, whether he's on the picket line or whether he's one of us or not, every student an enemy. Threat. And uh, and once that happens, then I think eventually, if we can keep up the pressure, then it will be a, a popular thing. Yeah. Can a man make coffee around here anymore? Yeah. Yeah. I say that we form four or five man tax squads of our own to be stationed just outside the campus and when the cops move in on the strike lines, they move uh, form a diversionary course behind the cops so the picket lines have time to get out of their way. Oh. Can we have oh. the oh. Our, oh. our oh. car oh. in oh. effect oh. blockade? Cars? Cars? Oh, yeah. On a campus? Uh, sure. Strategically, uh... Wait. How about your car? <laughs> <laughs> Falcon, man, go ahead. You can drive it up, Jack. I'll send it over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the reason why we try to make change, you don't talk about it. We live in the community, man. We talk about it. leadership in blood, Jack, we're not going to give it up. Well, I'm willing to die, too. Alone? Not a boy. <laughs> Who the hell is he? He's okay. He's my roommate. I guess 
those meetings you started to trip. Look, man, if he didn't come to join us, he shouldn't have come at all. Oh, why the hell not? How else is he going to determine whether or not he wants our... Well, what is this? Yes. Meetings aren't his trip. What kind of nonsense is that? If he wants to be a revolutionary, he has to learn to work with other people. That's so where he had to come and find out. What was, um, what, what was any revolutionary without other people? What was Lenin without his organization? What was Castro without his organization? Even anarchists uh, spend most of their lives talking in meetings, for Christ's sake. Well, you ought to take him and, and go back and start teaching him out of the Red Book or something. Like, teach him the first page that teaches about that if there's going to be a revolution, there must be a revolutionary party. That bourgeois, bourgeoisie individualism that he's indulging in is going to get him killed. Resolutely struggle against bourgeois individualism. <laughs> We had an open door on the third floor, but it's secure now. Is the door open to the roof? Could you, uh, well, I mean, could I go up? Company rules. I just wanted to get a book I left up there at lunchtime. What book? Why don't you eat in the cafeteria? How are your days off? Fine. See you later. Well, who could give me permission? Good evening, Mr. Allen. Hello, sir. Working late tonight. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Keep me busy. Can I help you? Yeah, I hope so. I was taking the place of someone's secretary today, and I went up to the roof. I mean, at lunchtime. And I left something. A book. You do secretarial work, do you? Well, it's not something I really dig to do. I just work when I need the bread. Chicken meeting said people only act when they need to, but I need to sooner than that.
Well, anyway, our line's gonna be in front of the administration building all day. Baby. Control 1 to 1L51. You are now clear, 1L51. Continue patrol. Continue patrol, 1L51. Net for 1L51 out. Yes? A friend of mine was arrested this morning. I was wondering if this case had been settled yet. One of the colleges? Yeah. Being booked now. It'll be a little while. Take a seat. You know how long it'll take? Maybe five minutes, maybe five hours. Thank you. William S. Pollock, the hands up in the page. Pollock, P O L L I T. Any other name also known as? Uh, None. Take off your glasses. Address? 1152 South Stoneman. What city? Alhambra. Occupation. Associate professor of history. That's too long, Bill. Uh, I'll just put down clerk. Any money in that wallet? Two dollars. Some of these people over here need medical attention. You didn't say you was a doctor. Friend of mine here came down to bail him out. You're not allowed here. Move on. I thought if you were coming to bail somebody out. You saw it. You thought maybe the rules didn't apply to you. You thought maybe someone special. Go on, beat it. Move on. Hey man, anything I can do to help? Yeah. All right, now you get a chance to see your friend. Busy day. Name? Carl Marx. How do you spell it? M A R X. We need some guns right away for self-defense. Well, the law is you buy the guns now, then we check it out with Sacramento. To see that the record is clean. You can pick it up in four or five days. But the law was made for peacetime. This is an emergency. See, we live in a neighborhood that's, uh, you know, borderline, you know what I mean? We've got to protect our women. Well, sure as hell we're going to see that you don't go defenseless. For your purposes, fellas, I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than a thirty-eight. Say, boys, one other thing about the law, so you can protect your house. So if you shoot in the backyard, be sure you drag him inside. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy the full relaxation of outdoor living. 
bask in the desert sun by your own private pool? Why be caught up in the rat race of city life when you can enjoy life the sunny dunes way? Play tennis on emerald green lawns. Drink fresh mountain water from oaken buckets. Breathe the unpolluted air of the high desert. Take your sun quail shooting in the wide open spaces. Who knows, you might even bag a mountain lion. Get out in the sun and water your own private garden. Become an independent man. Forge a life of your own like the pioneers who molded the West. You gals will really enjoy the fully equipped Sunny Dunes kitchen. Plenty of space for cooking for Junior and for that man of the house. Play a round of golf on the regulation size Sunny Dunes nine-hole golf course. And you can putt to your heart's content on the special practice putting green. So stop driving yourself crazy in that miserable, crowded city. Move out today and start your life over with a Sunny Dunes house in the sun. Are you taking up flying, Bob? No, Jane. That's me personally scanning the desert for potential Sunny Dunes lots. Just call Sunny Dunes 84868. What's the number again, Bob? That's Sunny Dunes Land Development Company, Box 82, Los Angeles, California. Connecting the central Los Angeles area to the foothills has moved over 50,000 residents to other locations while the homes, apartments, and businesses in the rock have been moved or destroyed, according to figures received by the Housing Administration. The Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. 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 total U.S. servicemen killed in Vietnam is nearing 50,000, with hundreds of thousands of our young men returning to hospitals in the United States. Did you see this? began yes, therapy sir. sessions with the use of artificial We have seven, 20 million. million. Broadway is curvy, in line. Hero bridge. Be my rye, a lot of mayonnaise. Hey, why so light on the meat, Pop? I ain't on no diet. You want extra, you pay extra. We're paying. Don't sweat it. Hello? Where are you? Better cool it. Somebody called and said you're on TV. Was it really you? On the news. You sure? He said the guy looked just like you. Marty. Hello? Mark? Hello? <laughs> hey, uh, can I ask a favor of you? Shoot. I was wondering if you'd um, trust me for the price of a sandwich. Not that I don't trust you personally, but if I trusted you, I'd have to trust everybody in the whole world.
this little scenic flight. Want to come? No, oh, thanks. Okay. Lily 7, Hawthorne Tower, Fortune Takeoff, Fortune Takeoff, traffic lining opposite direction, Cherokee 06 Juliet, Hawthorne Tower, turn off as soon as safe label, traffic departing opposite direction, Lily 7, Hawthorne, traffic landing... we satisfied with the cost projections yes. for the first phase? Steve yes. Steve can answer that. Oh, yes. We funded for 200 million, set aside 40 against contingencies. Oh, now, wait a minute. Why tie up 40 million dollars for contingencies? I mean, what? What contingencies? We found certain areas where there are differences Hello? in the water table. Soil tests have shown density right. factors that uh, uh, could hold increase on our I'll costs. take this model. We haven't been able to figure accurately the cost of blasting rock slopes. When will we have the exact figures? Oh, E.D., we can't make exact estimates until phase one is 65. What's up, Daria? Where are you? I'm in some ghost town. I just got to say I may be a little late in Phoenix. <laughs> Why? I'm looking for a little town that sounds like Glenville or Valleyville or something like that. Something with a ville in it. You know the desert. Does that ring a bell? A, vi a ville? A Wait a minute. Hold on. A ville? What do you mean, like a Danville? Somewhere in the desert, man. Danville's in Connecticut. Or maybe it's Hill. Something Hill. 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 Well, what do you want to go to a town you don't know the name of for? Have you got somebody to meet? My friend said it's a fantastic place for meditation. What do you do on a meditation? You think about things. You think about... Daria, look, give me the number where you're calling from and I'll try and find out the name of the town and call you back, okay? Oh, no, you'll probably have a helicopter sent out here to pick me up. Come on, Daria. <laughs> 30 cents, please, for the next three minutes. Just a second, operator. Look. Give me the number, then hang up, and I'll call you back, and that way I can pay for the call. See you in Phoenix. Say, do you know of a place around here called Glenville or Valleyville or something like that? That's it.
should build a drive-in up here. <laughs> They'd make a mint. Why don't you do it? Me? Oh. <laughs> uh. Any trouble? Oh, no. I was just in the bathroom. Where's your car? I left it along with my driver's license, Bank America card, traveler's check, social security number, birth certificate, and, You're really crazy. Is it loaded? Nope. Taking for water? I'm gonna bury it. Why did you ask me about the strike? Were you there? Yeah. The guy who killed the cop. Do, but somebody else was there. But they said that... They? Who's they? On the radio. I never got off a shot. You'll need them. You're gonna have a hard time making them believe you. I ain't gonna try. Why? I believe you. Let's go back to the car. You can drive out of here. If you cut your hair, they'd never recognize you. Do I need a haircut? No. You look beautiful. You might not even think it's a plane. Strange prehistoric bird spotted over Mojave Desert with its genitals out. <laughs> you are just crazy enough to take this thing back to L.A. Sure. You don't borrow someone's private plane, take it for a joyride, and never come back to express your thanks. This 
It's nice to see a young man who shows some respect. <laughs> That's a great day, man. Sure great is. Day. You really think you have a chance? Just set it down on the runway far enough from the tower so I can make it into this field. And there I've got it made. Back in time before they know what's happening. But why take it back? You could just ditch it here and ride with me to Phoenix. You don't even have to take the risk of... I want to take risks. Well, isn't she beautiful? Yeah. for liability and theft. Of course it was. Small plane, but they don't come very cheap, I can tell you that much. My wife was in love with that thing. In fact, I had to paint it a favorite color, pink. So you actually talked with the kid? Yeah, I talked with him. What did he say? Well, he asked me to go for a ride. They act like it's his plane. You believed him? No. Why did you let him go? Well, I don't know. You remember what he was wearing? Yeah, he had on a shirt and uh, dark hair. About how old would you say he was? Oh, about 30, I guess. Or maybe younger. 20, 21. <laughs>
There'll be lots of horses and dusty fun for all. Not candy, too, I'll bet, huh? This is
What was it like, anyway? Don't ask her. Don't ask her. <laughs> Like your own. <laughs> Very interesting. Nikki, you know, said she wasn't there. But I walked out by the pool. Well, Lee, if these are your final conditions, uh -huh. I don't see how I can possibly submit them to our associates. This proposal is just unacceptable. Well, now, Jack, you know as well as I do that the price of anything is never high or low except in relation to its potential use, right? Well, the only question for you is, is this land of value to your people or not? Frankly, I don't think that it is. We don't want to get in over our heads any more than you people do. What do you think, Counselor? Shall we call her a bluff? What happened to you, did you try and go swimming? Anywhere you arrive, finally, that's an important thing. Now listen, go downstairs, change clothes. Your room is the first on the right of the bottom of the stairs.
Now, we realize it's got great potential with the marina, and with the pier, etc. It blends itself with casual living, and yet it's affluent. As a matter of fact, I'm quite enthusiastic about this whole project, but the next thing you know, we'll be finding gold on this property. So if we find water there, we can certainly find gold. Well, in this country, water is gold. Development of an airstrip or roads, the uh, marina development and the shore areas would, of course, uh, be a subsequent uh, uh, facet of the entire project.
dawn comes up so young. Dreams begin so young. And if you live just for today, the day may soon be done. But there's a place where. 